Several areas within the vicinity of Taal Volcano in Batangas are affected by volcanic smog or VOG. Joining us today live is FIVOX Volcano Monitoring and Eruption Prediction Division Chief Mariton Bornas. Ma'am Mariton, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening, sir. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, pag-usapan natin itong uh, volcanic smog na pinag-uusapan nga natin buong maghapon. Ano? Uh, pwede niyo po bang maipaliwanag kung paano nabuo itong sinasabing volcanic smog o VOG mula dito sa Taal Volcano? Okay, so since March 2021, we've had uh, very high emissions of sulfur dioxide no, from Taal Volcano. Uh, more than a year after the main event, no, the main eruptive event. Mm -hmm. And since March 2021, my, uh, Taal has been emitting very high levels of sulfur dioxide. So, so there are cycles in which the sulfur dioxide emissions peak uh, to high levels and then cycle uh, and then decrease. So these have been cycles that have been decreasing through time. So compared mm -hmm. to 2021, in 2021, we had a peak of 25,000 tons per day emission mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in October 15, no, 2021. But uh, like today, uh, we have emissions of less than 5,000 tons per day. The measurement yesterday was a little over 4,500 tons per day. Mm -hmm. And the volcanic uh, sulfur dioxide that is emitted uh, combines with other ingredients in the atmosphere, you have particulate matter, uh, humidity, sufficient humidity, uh, other um, gases maybe, and then uh, solar radiation to form volcanic mm -hmm. smog. Now, mm -hmm. the, uh, now uh, we are experiencing intense volcanic smog, mainly because of two factors. One is that um, Pag-asa has released uh, information that there is thermal inversion in the atmosphere. What this means is that there is an, um, a layer of the atmosphere that is hotter than normal. So instead mm -hmm. of the um, uh, atmosphere cooling as you go higher up the atmosphere, there is a portion that actually gets uh, warmer. So that uh, most of the pollutants um, that are emitted at the surface of the earth are trapped you know, and cause form smog or in the case of Taal, it's volcanic smog or VOG. Tama po ba ma'am na comparison or analogy yung sabihin natin na kumbaga parang may nakataklob uh, sa atin kaya hindi makalabas yung parang itong sinasabi natin na smog? Uh, that's correct. But also I forgot pala the other factor is that uh, we have very low wind speeds uh, for uh -huh. the past few days and the um, uh, forecast of Pag-asa based on their uh, modeling is that the wind will not pick up until um, September 27. So until September 26, we will have lower than 2 meters per second of wind. Sometimes it's zero, no? Uh, walang wind. So this actually promotes the accumulation of pollutants mm -hmm. such as uh, volcanic uh, gas over Taal, the Taal region. And in the case of the National Capital Region, that would be pollution from vehicular mm -hmm. traffic, industries, etc. If tama yung, ano, ma'am, no? If tama yung parang pagkakaintindi ko, uh, dahil wala masyadong um, wind movement, naiipon yes. sa isang lugar yung yes. uh, na-accumulate, kumbaga. Uh, so, ma'am, right. Does this mean na mayroong uh, volcanic activity dito sa Taal Volcano? You mentioned na ever since 2021, minomonitor na natin ito, ano? Pero uh, does it mean that there is current uh, um, activity in uh, the Taal Volcano? So Taal Volcano is still at alert level 1, mainly because hmm. of volcanic sulfur dioxide emission. The other parameters are quite low. For example, volcanic earthquakes are quite low. We've only had uh, five very weak tremor events. And then um, ground deformation is also quite low. Uh, hindi naman na namamaga ang vulcan. That means that there is no um, material that is pressurizing the volcano or is trying to come out of the volcano like magma. And um, uh, all other parameters are quite low, except that the volcano is spewing out a significant volumes of sulfur dioxide pa rin. So that mm -hmm. is why we are still at alert level 1. And uh, in terms of is there a chance of explosive activity? A major explosions 
major eruptive activities at a, are at a very very low low chance no? although mm-hmm. Ma'am, hindi naman ibig sabihin ahead, na hindi pa hindi naman ibig sabihin na hindi tayo pwedeng magkaroon ng phreatic yung mga mm-hmm. minor steam driven eruptions or weak phreatomagmatic eruptions like yung mga bursts na nararanasan natin paminsan-minsan Ma'am, before I go sa Metro Manila naman, no, dahil may reported din tayo dito na smog uh, na tinatawag natin. Let me ask this question. I'm not sure, ma'am, if you're aware na doon sa Batangas, sa bayan ng Tuya, no, may mga estudyante daw yes, yes. na isinugod sa ospital kahapon. And they're yes, pointing yes. at the volcanic smog na sinasabi. Posible po bang may connection talaga yung dalawang iyon, yung volcanic smog? and yung uh, mga hindi makahinga, itong mga estudyante na sinasabing nakalanghap noong smog. That's right. So, since yesterday, we've had this thermal inversion and we've had a significant emission of SO2 from Taal. No? And the volcanic uh, uh, volcanic SO2 has not actually left the Taal area. In fact, even uh, nung now, we can still see the through our monitors and our observatory. We can still see the smog or the fog over Taal mm-hmm. region. And this was actually reported to us uh, yesterday in a special meeting by uh, Batang, uh, uh, LGUs no, uh, of Batangas province that there were um, students sa municipality nga ng Toy who were uh, brought to the hospital. Mm-hmm. And that's because the plume yesterday that uh, was produced by Taal was actually dispersed on the western portion of Batangas province. So mm-hmm. that's Agoncillo, Lemery, Tuy, uh, Kalatagan, uh, Balayan. So th- this were the municipalities, Kalaka, this were the municipalities that were mainly affected by the volcanic smog. Ibig sabihin ma'am, yung wind uh, direction ay papunta doon yes. sa Western Ridge. Brings me now, ma'am, dito sa uh, pinag-uusapan naman natin dito sa Metro Manila. Kanina nga po, pinaliwanag na itong uh, smog down na nakikita natin dito sa or na-experience natin sa Metro Manila is not because of the Taal Volcano because nga po, western uh, yung direction ng wind and, and not towards dito sa Metro Manila uh, area. But with that said, ma'am, if hindi dahil sa Taal Volcano itong smog na na-experience natin dito sa Metro Manila, then saan po yun nagmula? So, we can only presume that it's the normal everyday pollution that we are producing. No? Uh, ang, unlike the other days, uh, the pollution that we are producing uh, could rise uh, away from the metropolis or are dissipated by winds. But mm-hmm. yun nga, the pollution cannot rise because of thermal inversion and we have no not much wind so it's staying it's staying where it is and that's a difference actually pareho lang it's just the same conditions prevailing over taal and prevailing over ncr except that the source of the pollution are mainly uh industrial and vehicular in metro manila and in mm-hmm. over batangas province that will be vulc- uh, volcanic gas mm-hmm. i think that's a good way to wrap this up po ma'am ano, na parang yung sa batangas it's because of taal and volcano but dito sa metro manila it's more about pollution talaga no uh, and yes. um uh, vehicular pollution, industrial uh, pollution. Ma'am, uh, last question na lang po, ma'am. No, should this be a cause of concern para sa ating mga kababayan? Uh, we've had several meetings already with the local government units of Calabarzon. And um, of course, yung long-term exposure to volcanic SO2 is a concern kasi this have short-term effects but also long-term effects on the population. Uh, for the uh, right now, the coping mechanisms of LGU uh, are actually evolved and they are actually doing quite well. But you know, uh, in meetings, that there are also a lot of discussions about what to do for the long-term uh, effects of uh, volcanic SO2. And also, as you know, uh, this is the volcanic gas that we monitor, but there may be other gases that we are not equipped to monitor that you know could be uh, exhaled by taal so uh, we hope that um wala naman sila masyado magiging effect but 
you know, we should also prepare in the long term for the effects of long term exposure, which is quite mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. unprecedented for us. <laughs> so, mami, dito sa Metro Manila, no, if it's because of pollution, it re- it needs sh- both short term and long term uh, solutions, po, ano? Yes, that's right. Mm-hmm. Ma'am, uh, siguro pa- paalala na lang po sa ating mga kababayan na kailangan magtrabaho over the weekend, na mayroong mga gala this weekend, ano po yung mga kailangan nilang gawin para hindi masyado naman na makalanghap nitong uh, sinasabi nating smog. Okay, sa um, ang mga kababayan po natin, uh, yung mga nasa paligid po ng Taalik, you know, uh, our uh, kababayan there, alam na po natin we need to wear a face mask or avoid going outdoors uh, and if we cannot avoid uh, going outdoors, then let's wear a face mask. I heard a while ago in a meeting that the DOH is also proposing to use if you can, if you have no uh, N95 mask, you can use several layers of the surgical mask. Mm-hmm. And um, if Ilang you layers po daw, ma'am? Uh, kaya lang three, isuot. If I'm not mistaken, parang three. Uh, we can, uh, three, uh, we can three further, layers. Yeah, we can further consult the uh, issuances of the DOH for this. No? And then, um, if uh, we are feeling not well, or if we are exposed to volcanic SO2 or volcanic smog, and have, are feeling the ill effects of this, please consult a doctor, a rural health uh, center, or go to the rural health centers. If you are around, living around Taali, our LGUs have already uh, evolved their uh, practices or yung, uh, responses nila, and they will respond efficiently to whatever you need. No? And also, let's take care of our uh, elderly, yung ating uh, expecting mothers, children, infants. Siguro po, uh, if we are going to Taal uh, area, uh, uh, let's uh, make sure that they are well protected with masks or uh, they mm-hmm. stay indoors as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Okay. Maraming salamat po, ma'am. That's Fivox Volcano Monitoring and Eruption Prediction Division Chief Mariton Bornas.